Greetings Shopify enthusiastics! In today's tutorial, let's try to focus into the crucial aspect onto our store which is adding an order tracking page. This feature enhances the customer experience and keeps the informed. So stick around as we will walk through the process step by step. First of all, let's navigate to the Shopify dashboard. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description just in case you don't have any store yet inside Shopify so we can all get started totally for free. Later on, you might be having an actual huge deal. So now, as you can see, here we are into the dashboard of the Shopify. What I wanted to do is to navigate here and find the order tracking section. I will guide you through the steps of ensure you are into the right path. Easy navigation is key to a seamless setup. When you get started with an actual order, when you received an actual order, you should see that it appears here into the left half which says orders. Now here into the orders, you should see that we have it today. The total orders, the order uh, items over time, the returns fulfilled, times fulfilled, and much more. Usually that would be more than enough. But if you want to enable the order tracking feature, uh, I'll explain the setting customization option and how to make this page reflect into the brand. So get ready to make your order tracking here, page in the section here. Sometimes it appears directly here into orders, sometimes it appears into drafts, sometimes it doesn't appear when you create your order. But when you get started with the actual customization of an order, what I can totally suggest to you is to use an application to make an order tracking feature. And how you can implement that. If you go into the lower part where it says applications, just focus into all recommended apps and Shopify App Store. Inside the Shopify App Store, what you wanted to do here is to type order tracking. There's a lot of applications that you can choose to order and track in a specific order. What you want to do is to make sure that you have an actual order tracking that is for free, that is built for Shopify and that has a really strong free text. For example, here we have the Rush, for example. Now, Rush uh, says it's for free, but it comes for free for a 10-day free trial. So you don't want to focus a lot in that. What you want to do is to focus into the order tracking, which is for free. Maybe it will be basic and easy to use, but I would be uh, telling you guys it's much more faster to use uh, for free for unconditional tracking based. After you choose the right application for you, hit into install application. Now that we have installed a specific application for our Shopify store, it's going to be showing us a new dashboard of the specific application. As you can see here, we have the welcome to the post of paling. Here's a special offer and I want to focus a lot on that. Now here we have the quick setup guide. What you want to do is to focus into the add to tracking page. Now this tracking page should be added into my store. So to add this, what I want to do is to go for the main menu directly into navigation. Inside navigation, I choose this option and I go for add menu item. And here, let's go for track your order here. So here, what you want to do is to choose the specific page and I paste my link. I choose this and I go for add. There we go. So last link to hit now into save. Now that I have done this, I'm going to scroll here and let's go for I have done this. Now we can customize or add the tracking page, the shipping notifications. We can customize the shipping notifications if you wanted to. For example, the info received, in transit, out for delivery, delivered, exemption, fail attempt. Uh, you can implement and add all of this depending on what is the actual plan that you actually chose. So you can enable those and there you go. Now here we can see that we have courier matching, for example, there's the USPS or USB, there's the HL, this UPS, depending on what is the actual element that you chose for your custom specific store. So that's the reason why you want to make ready to order tracking page and extension of your brand identity. Now testing and troubleshooting. Once everything is set up, it's time to test the order tracking functionality. I'll walk you through a stitch order. I mean, what you can do is just to try to get started on a specific order and then later on you can see it appears here into your application. So what I wanted to do is to make sure that first of all it appears into my store. Now let's go here into view your online store. And now as you can see, we have the order tracking inside the menu. So I choose this option. And as you can see, it says track your order. 
order number, email or phone number, or the tracking number. Usually, this information should be granted when you get started with having an actual order. Here into the order, you should be seeing here that we have the total order. Uh, there is the actual return, the focused on the payment, the notes, the marketing, the customer, and of course, what is the name of a specific order. So that's the reason why you want to make sure that everything looks great so far. So now I'm going to go back here. Let's go here into the tracking of the order. The drop shipping mode should be enabled. Now the drop shipping mode is when we hide Chinese origins to create a consistent branding shopping experience for your customers. Really, really important when it comes to creating and making some drop shipping. After that, lastly, it's going to be showing you how does the application works. For example, Parcel will automatically sync the last 30 days for free. The new coming orders will be automatically synced in real time. They use tracking numbers to catch tracking information to create the website and the tracking numbers are synced from the order detail page into Shopify Administrator. If you are doing some drop shipping, uh, all the application, all the tracking information should be appearing directly into the actual supplier of the drop shipper, which in my case, it would be Desus. So I'm going to open my supplier and as you can see, we have different orders. When it comes to creating a specific order that comes directly from the actual supplier, it's going to be appearing here into orders you should see here that we can go here into open to thesis to track the specific orders and of course it's going to be showing us how does the actual order looks that means what is the tracking code where it is the awaiting payment the fulfillment and if it was cancelled or failed the orders that's how and that's why we wanted to track these orders directly from the supplier of the dropshipper. That totally depends on what you're actually, how you actually tracked and sent your products. Well, once everything has been set up, ensure it has a free experience for both you and your customers is our top priority. So congratulations because we have just successfully added the order tracking page to the Shopify store. Now it's time to set back and let your customers enjoy the convenience. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more Shopify insights, share your success stories into the comments below. Once again, you have the link down below in the description, guys, if you wanted to get started with Shopify totally for free, guys. And well, guys, your Shopify journey is full of possibilities and I'll be here to guide you every single step. Um, on the way. Until next time, happy tracking, happy selling. See you next time.